Hi guys, since I've received some questions on how to order from 10 by 10 if you are not living in Korea, so I thought that I'll do a video to guide you guys through the process. First thing I do is always to translate the website from Korean to English because I can't read Korean, so this will help me to navigate the site. As we do not have a Korean number for verification, we are unable to do a member account on 10x10 so we can only make use of the gas checkout to do our purchase. So I usually shop by going to the categories and stickers is always my first stop. So I'd like to show you guys that um, there's actually some limitations to the products that we can buy. Um, so we can actually only purchase items that has a aeroplane icon in the listing because this means that they actually provide overseas shipping for the items. If the product comes in different variations, do be careful and double check the details below before you actually add to a cart. Sometimes it will be in Korean and um, if you translate to English, it will be quite um, funny and doesn't make sense. So you might want to translate it back to Korean and then refer the names carefully. Just to show you guys an example of a product that doesn't ship internationally. So after you are done adding all the products you want into the cart, um, do click on shopping cart and make sure that you choose the overseas delivery cart over here. If you have accidentally added some um, products that doesn't ship internationally, it will not reflect in this international cart. My shipping fees usually range from 15,000 won to 25,000 won depending on the products I bought. After checking through your cart, um, you can select your shipping country and do note that they only ship to limited countries that are listed right here. So after that, click on order all products and even if you see some 10% discount code in green right there, um, you have to remember that we are not entitled to this kind of discounts or freebies because we do not have a membership account which is quite sad so you have to fill out the form over here and for the cell phone part you can just split your number into the different boxes it doesn't matter as long as you fill out all of them So fast forward, um, do note that this part is not relevant because we have no account and then just scroll down and click the agreement and click on credit card and proceed with the red button. So the payment part is where a lot of people have problems with, even myself at my first time buying. Um, it's really frustrating but just follow my steps and I think you'll be fine. First of all, click on the lock icon and make sure you um, actually enable the pop-ups and redirects and go to your payment um, handlers and make sure you have allowed it. So um, you have to do the payment when this page is actually in Korean. If you do it in English like me right now, um, this error will just keep appearing. So what I do is to memorize the position of the card I want to do under this tab. So for example, I'm using Overseas Master, so I'll just count downwards and note that um, this is where it is. So close the window and open it again. 
This time round, don't translate it to English. Keep it in Korean and click the agreement and choose the option that you want to pay with. So after doing this several times, I can actually memorize where Mastercard Overseas is. It is one of the three that has the same words in front, which actually means overseas. So you'll be able to proceed this time and you can just enter all your card details. After which, um, you'll be brought to another page and then... Here we go. This means that the order is actually successful. You can check the status of your order um, on the login page by keying in the order number under the non-member section. My previous puzzles took around more than a month to reach me, so you'll need to be patient and it's gonna be worth all the wait. I hope that this video is helpful and do ask me any questions below in the comments. Bye!